Southern Plains Medical Center presents your hometown medical minute and your host, Hal Bro. Hey, everybody, and welcome to our show, Your Hometown Medical Minute. I'm your host, Hal Brock. With me, as always, behind the cameras, our IT director, Mr. Ed Harrison. Hey, Hal. How are you doing today? Ed, doing great. We've got a great show lined up for everybody today. SPMG Chiropractic Care's Dr. Chris Ludwell. He's in the house today. He's going to sit down and talk with me about this cold weather that's going to start creeping in, of course, entering the winter months. We're going to talk about that cold weather and the effects that it has on your body, both in your bones and joints. Of course, being a chiropractor, he's a master um, at that as well. We're going to talk about how it affects just your overall mood and that sluggish kind of feeling that sometimes comes along with the cold winter months, um, just kind of the blues, kind of that. So we're going to talk about something that Dr. Ludwell does, and that's IV infusion therapy. And let me tell you, Ed, I have done IV infusion therapy with Dr. Chris Ludwell earlier in this year. In fact, if you go back and you look at some of our early episodes, you can actually watch one of those, uh, but had a Myers cocktail. And let me tell you, it was during a week, Ed, <laughs> I had had so much on my plate, I was tired, and that's what I, I was feeling sluggish. I was down, and he hooked me up with a Myers cocktail, and I promise that same day, I felt so much better. And then I woke up the next day, and I was in such a better mood. What's really neat about IV infusion therapy is it's the best way to get the most absorption out of the nutrients that you're trying to supply yourself with. So you almost get 100% absorption. So almost all of that nutrient into your body is the quickest, most effective way. So a very cool therapy offered right here at Southern Plains Medical Center, 2222 West Iowa in Chickasha. You can give us a call, 405-224-8111 or Dr. Ledwell's office direct, 224-4400. Um, and you know we can provide you with more information, schedule you an appointment, but an awesome uh, discussion we're gonna have today. And that's kind of what we created SPMG TV for. And this is kind of what we're dubbing the start of the second season. Of course, I also do the broadcasting for the Fighting Chicks and they had a great season. Uh, we just finished up last week of their first playoff berth in, in a while since I think like 2013. Phenomenal season. Um, but now that it's kind of over, I uh, got a little bit more time to, to, to focus on my job. Um, and so please, we just definitely want to welcome you to Southern Plains Medical Medical Center, all of our locations in Southwest Oklahoma, of course, ramping up down there in Paul's Valley here in Chickasha and over in Anadarko. Um, for more information, go to our website, www.spmcmed.com. Um, okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off season two with our favorite, Dr. Chris Ludwell. All right, welcome back. Want to welcome and thank our guest, one of my favorites here, Dr. Chris Lovell. Thanks thank so much. You. Thank you. Good to see. You. Good to see you. Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah. So what we're talking about today um, is, you know, the weather changing and and what the cold does and the effects that it has um, on something that you're very familiar with on your bones, right. movement and right. joints, right. Right. Sure. Um, but also on, on just your <clears throat> overall health. And you do some really cool things as far as vitamins and nutrients through right. IV therapies. Right. So I want to touch on those two things. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So first off, how does kind of the cold affect bones, joints, movements, everything? So I would say the, the, the most common thing I would see is the cold tends to slow people down for sure. So we, we, we tend to stop any kind of excess movement. Okay. We got to, we like to stay in, which I don't blame you. It's 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 nice and warm on the <laughs> I'm inside. I'm a homebody. Right. Yeah, right. He's, he's, I feel like he's preaching at me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and I'm the same way. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when I leave here and I go home, I rarely get out. Right. So okay, which cool. is not a good thing, but we we tend to just kind of be very. Um, well, it's cold. You want to stay inside, get yeah. the fire, the heater on, right. watch. We all have all this technology we were just talking about. Yeah, exactly. TV, call up Netflix, and it's every, chill. Yeah, everything is right here, yeah. and we don't need to do it. So, so I would say lack of mobility. Okay. Uh, that tends to decrease uh, these little systems in the body called mechanoreceptors. Wow, okay. Um, and then it increases the, uh, the influx of nociceptors, which equate to pain. 
and we don't want that. Okay, right. So, um, piggybacking that lack of mobility, I would say this time of year I see more dehydration cases yeah. than in the summer. Which is crazy because you wouldn't think that I, yeah. without medical, any medical <laughs> background or experience, I just work with you guys, <laughs> um, you know, I would assume that I, I would be dehydrated when I'm out doing yard work and when I'm excessive and when maybe I'm not drinking as much. Exactly. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. But why is that? Well, I, I think personally is during the winter time, we decrease our water intake and we go toward more coffee, okay. coffee hot chocolates, hot teas, hot yeah. chocolates. Um, and huh. we, we decrease the, the amount of true water we're intaking. And okay. in turn, that dehydrates the muscles that causes, you know, aches and pains for and, sure. And then once you start replenishing that system, then you then you start getting some of those aches and pains flushed out. Okay. But I think a lot of people just unintentionally dehydrate themselves. Yeah. Well, you know, switching to the beverages, and then like you were saying, the lack of the mobility, the, the right. using. So right. I mean, it's just kind of yeah. you're just shrinking and dying. Exactly. I mean, it goes hand in hand. Because <laughs> if you're not moving, you don't think about it. Right. And then you know you just keep drinking your hot chocolate and. Um, you know, the caffeine, I think, in a lot of drinks, I think that sucks a lot of nutrients and fluid out of you too, so. Right, so. well, it, we were talking in, in that wellness meeting and you mm -hmm. mentioned something that has stuck with me, mm -hmm. and that was the carbonation. Oh, and, yes. and sucking out of, or not allowing some of the water, not allowing the nutrients to right. come the, down. The absorption rate, yeah. Okay. And I, I, don't, I don't remember where I heard this or where I read this, but I think it was like for every, um, Every ounce of a caffeinated drink, you have to supplement with three ounces of water. Oh wow! To okay. offset that. Now I, I I'll have to look at that, that again. Makes sense. It does. I mean, you know, because you're pulling out a lot of yeah. a lot of nutrients. So. Well, I know when you know when I had my little incident and, and speaking mm -hmm. with you, that was the one thing that I've really been consistent with of, of taking sodas and cokes Good. out of my diet. Good. Um, and definitely the dehydration mm -hmm. has not been the issue anymore so like the the restless legs and stuff yeah. that has all gone away since so that's I've diminished. started dehydrating so yeah yeah I mean, it's just it's baby Sorry. steps yeah baby yeah. steps for sure so for sure. that's a good step though well so it also you know the cold it brings flus mm -hmm. colds allergies come in because yeah. you know right here in Oklahoma we're gonna have winds out of the north and it's gonna be 30 and then right. we're gonna have a storm come out of New Mexico or, or Mexico it's right. 70 degrees you know the next right. day right so we're constantly you know we've got a bad flu season uh -huh. already um, what um, you do IV drip therapy Correct. which I'm a huge believer in Love um, it. Yeah, you love came it. by and you gave me a Myers cocktail, yeah. um, and it was through a point where I'd been a little sick, and we had kind of timed that perfectly because we wanted to start talking yeah. about this. And man, I'm telling you, that next day—well, that day I felt better. Did you? But that yes. next day, I woke up feeling very refreshed and very hydrated um, yeah. to the point where, when you were doing that IV thing, like yeah. I could, I could smell and taste, taste the, the yeah. nutrients that were coming out. That's I how bad that. it was. I love hearing that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so when you get dehydrated, brother, that's a bad thing. You can feel like you're dying, like you're having a heart yeah. attack. Yeah. Maybe you can't sleep, you can't you can't get comfortable, you're right. constantly stretching. Right. What can you suggest for people uh, to come and see you? What do you typically do in that situation? So if, if you are severely dehydrated, um, you know, your, your urine output isn't that much or the, the okay. color is very, very yellow, um, that means you need a lot of fluid right not just and you can't hardly catch up by just taking it drinking it you have to get it into the cells right okay. so that's the benefit of having this iv rehydration is we can stick an iv um, and let you rehydrate that would probably take an hour and a half to two hours okay and the benefit of that is you're getting that directly into the bloodstream right plus on top of that if you're if you're feeling just drained and tired, we can add any vitamin supplement oh, cool. you want. So right like vitamin in. B's or something. Oh yeah, get you a little pep in there. For energy, we can add vitamin C for immunity, zinc for immunity. You know, you always hear people getting zinc lozenges in the yeah. winter time. We can add zinc right to the IV. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's these things are they're, they're wonderful. Well, you hear about a lot of like the vitamin, you know, the vitamin B12 or the vitamin B, the shots, the injections and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, 
But we, when you talk about the absorption rate, and we were talking about it just through dehydration before right. we even talked about the IVs. Well, the IVs, the 100% absorption, you yep. know, when you go and you take vitamins mm -hmm. with B, um, you know, even sometimes the push injection, that's also still pretty consistent. You right. get a lot, right? but it's a lot more, you get a little bit more time with it, maybe through an IV, yeah. or you can add it. Right. Along with some other things that you're already doing. Anything, just like Which yesterday. Awesome. Yeah, yesterday we were doing, uh, we we're co treating a cancer patient with a high dose of vitamin C. Awesome. He was That's feeling cool. a little bit run down. Okay. So, um, had a viral infection from his, it, it, he got diagnosed with his, pri by his yeah. primary care. So we just added some 3% uh, pharmaceutical grade hydrogen peroxide. Wow. Which goes in and, and helps fight for the virus. Yeah. And we did that in the same IV bag. That's amazing. Yeah, it was, it you was know, wonderful. You, don't, you don't think about that. I mean, you could literally come to see you to fight those viruses mm -hmm. and co-fight them. I mean, you still, oh, you yeah. know, want to go and, and do yeah. your other things. And, and For sure. You know, but a lot of that comes down to hydration, too. Exactly. You know, you don't get sick, yeah. you know, when you're as much when you're hydrated properly. So when our patients, um, when they go and see some of our nurse practitioners like Cheryl or Lacey, yeah. uh, and they get the, the care the needed care right right then and there we'll we'll do a little adjunct therapy or some addition and, and, and possibly do some ivs to to absolutely to help you know help get them through this this phase because this is gonna i have a feeling and i don't know why i feel this way but i have a feeling this season is yeah is, is going to be a bad it is blue and cold season it's already started off pretty rough yeah. um, and i didn't i didn't do the update this week i did an update last week yeah. and there's already been 73 hospitalizations as of last week i think yeah. we're possibly over 100 just in oklahoma yeah. already been a couple of deaths as well but last year's flu season was the worst yeah. since i've been in healthcare. Yeah. i mean and it lasted you know i even had we had somebody comments on our southern plains facebook page that the flu never left this season yeah. like i mean literally it stayed around we had people come in and get diagnosed in the yeah. flu during the summer months yeah. You know, it seemed like it had a little lull, and then it it had a kick yeah. late, and then lasted a lot longer. You know, so. something that I wanted to get into with you, and I know we don't have time today. I, I took them away from patients, and so <laughs> I'm keeping mind. I've got a few more minutes, so I'm going to keep you as much. We're good. We're good. Something I do want to get into, and that I'm a believer in. When I wasn't feeling good, I came mm -hmm. and saw you, and. What happened was when we had the adjustment and we just mm -hmm. did a regular adjustment, you flushed out so many things in me. And be, I just know that for a fact. And I mean, you know, the next day I definitely felt that. Toxins. Yeah, the, the toxins. toxins. But then that's <clears throat> what started healing me and waking yeah. me up. And it was amazing because I was taking regular medicines and stuff. And it was just like I was kind of masking it, but I always kind of felt cruddy until I took like ibuprofen or took something right. else. Right. I haven't had to take any medications. I haven't, I, I felt in line, um, but I really felt a flushness. Yeah. Um, I really want to get into this. Yeah. You know, there's a release in toxins. It has to be, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. How does that work? You know, it's a, it's a lot like massage therapy. If you, okay. get a, if you go get a deep tissue massage, the first thing that massage therapist is gonna tell you after you get off that table is hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. They do, right. You know, uh, chiropractic adjustment, and, and that might be a misnomer too. Chiropractic adjustment, a lot of people think it's like a, a massage. Right. Completely no. two different things. Okay. I think they work hand in hand. Right. So the adjustment, just like a deep tissue massage, will release some toxins into the yes. system. Yeah. If you don't flush those out and they accumulate in your joints or in your in your intestines, or you will have some issues. Naturally, right? It, yeah. Because so something's that, harboring inside yes. of you. You need something yeah. to dispel that. You it's do. so cool to see um, the connectivity between what you do um, mm -hmm. through primary care, through you know even DeAndrea with pain management. Yes. Um, what we're able to do when we take many methods of treatments and we tackle an, a complete issue. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. And that's what I love about Southern Plains yeah. and having you as a resource um, and having Lacey there as a resource and, and the combining efforts is just really cool. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what we did before. Yeah, no. It, because chiropractic in a, in a medical facility like this has, has not been very common. It's not common. And it's not. Now looking back, the, the, the help that I get from the nurse practitioners here and the physicians sure. here and the feedback back and forth 
figuring out cases. Um, Dr. Har and I worked together on a, with a mutual patient and figuring this out. They wouldn't get that in one no. single linear clinic. Right. This multidisciplinary is set up and they've got everything right here under one roof and all the physicians are communicating and we're all on the same page because that's what's going to benefit the right. patient. Absolutely. So, yeah. And we need to come over and do kind of to your office and just right. kind of let you, let's put together some of the okay. cocktails that you do. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I say cocktails, it's not a drink or anything, like the vitamin <laughs> regimen, yeah. right? Yeah, right. Yeah. That'd be fun. That's a, no. The vitamin regimens that you put together. And I want you to kind of, because they can. I mean, if you're feeling blue, you're feeling run down, mm -hmm. you can come in, get vitamin B, you can add zinc. Correct. And do other things, right? Correct. Correct. That Myers yeah. cocktail was amazing, man. I love that one. That is the most common one. That's what was all in that one? Dr. Myers, back in the day, he okay. developed that one, and there, but it has changed it over time. It could be a myriad of things, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. cool. There's a plethora of vitamins and supplements, but you can modify it. If you came in and said, hey, Chris, I'm here we go. This is I'm, better. Right. I'm really tanked, and I yes. feel like my, my B vitamins, or if you had labs and the B vitamins were tanked. We could increase the Bs and keep the C down a little bit. Huh, okay. You know, so we could fluctuate that. Start leveling them yeah. off. Very similar to the Bio-T hormone. You know, we could, right. we could tailor it to exactly what you need. That's awesome. Yeah. You can find what the body is missing mm -hmm. and replenish that. And when you replenish that, that's gonna allow your body to allow all these enzymatic functions to work properly and all these systems are going to be in unison. Absolutely. So, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Your body naturally can, if you have all of your nutrients and stuff, yes. your body is made to survive. I had, a, I had a good friend of mine, he's a doctor, a medical doctor, and he's, he told me this one day and he said, the body will tell you what it needs. When you have a headache, your body is not Tylenol deficient, right. but that's what we use to treat the symptoms. It's mask it, yeah. Your body is deficient in magnesium, chloride, something. Got you, right. And we have to find that to give that to your body and not just keep covering up the symptoms. It makes so much sense. It does. So Man. that's going to stick with me. And, and this guy is he's a very intelligent fella. Yeah. So that, you know, that's going to stick with me hopefully forever. I want to talk more about this. Unfortunately, it's okay. 1.30. I know you've got to get back because okay. you literally have two patients waiting for you right <laughs> okay. now. So I'm not going to do that to these people. Thank right. you so much for coming. Please. Let's do it again. Let's do this soon. Yeah. Um, and let's, I'm going to come over to you guys. Okay. And let's put some of these nutrients together, okay. some of the vitamin packs that we can do. Um, and you can talk about what okay. it's good for. And we've got some new ones, by the way. Awesome. I haven't even told you about. So we've got some new ones coming. Okay, cool. And one in particular, I am so excited about that it's, I think it's going to be, it might be better than Myers. Can you leak any of What's it for? One aspect that, okay. it can, that it can treat is it can repair the lining of the blood vessels. Oh, really? So that's awesome. The endothelial lining, will it will repair that. So Well, that's got to make you feel a little bit better on your everyday life, right? Yeah, if, yeah. if your blood's, I mean, flood, that's blood's it. the key to life. That's man, right? it. That's and your livelihood. And we're getting flow. That's and, cool. And it's, it's getting to where it needs to be. Then that's, that's, a, that's a positive thing. Man, so, you I'm excited do some about cool that stuff. One. Yeah, you do some cool stuff. Well, we were talking about some of the other stuff that we're gonna do future on, okay. but let's uh, here in the next week or two, man. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna bust up in your clinic again, okay. and we're gonna take a look. As okay. always, you can find Dr. Chris Level right here at Southern Plains Medical Center here at Chickasha 2222 West Iowa 224-8111, or you can call you know your number direct 224-224-4400. 4400. 4400. Yep. Thank you so much. Dr. Little, right. thanks so much. Thank you. All right.